Another major food processing plant closes amid long list of closures across the USA. Another major U.S. food processing plant will be closing down in Campbell County, Tennessee, as closures over the few months hit a record high. Georgia's prepared foods announced its chicken processing plant will cease operations within weeks. Oddly, the company refused to give the reason for the closure. All we know is that this one did not mysteriously explode or burn down like the others have. Campbell County Mayor E. L. Morton told WVLT that he's desperately trying to keep the food plant open to save hundreds of jobs. He said, I have contacted the Tennessee Economic and Community Development staff to request assistance in keeping the plant open or facilitating a sale to another operator. I have questioned Governor Lee's assistance as well. My primary concern is for the welfare and the dedication workers who have been uh, ba the backbone of the operation. Morton said our prayers go out to them as well as the very best efforts to keep them employed in Campbell County. The Zero Hedge reports Senior Vice President of Georgia's Food Robert George released a statement about the closure, citing it's a challenging time to be in the prepared food business and we've been carefully evaluating how we navigate the volatility in beef and pork markets. George did not explain what challenging time meant and if that was due to rampant inflation pressuring operation operating margins. The announcement of the closure pushed up the number of closed U.S. food processing plants over the last year to 100. And there's a whole list of them here. I'll leave a link below for you. Uh, it's just unbelievable. Uh, most of them, of course, is here. Meanwhile, in London, Ontario, Aspire Food Group recently announced that its new insect production facility would produce 9,000 metric tons of crickets yearly for human and pet consumption across North America, according to Canadian Manufacturing. As a reminder, the World Economic Forum, the WEF, technocrats urged people weeks ago to ditch meat for climate beneficial foods such as seaweed, algae, and cacti. Part of the New World Order is to reset the global economy and re-engineer what people eat. This is being accomplished by influential billionaires, politicians, celebrities, biased academics, wealthy philanthropists, and the bureaucrats of international organizations and institutions. I wonder if they'll be eating seaweed, uh, mealworm, algae, uh, cactus, and uh, insects. This is by Sean Nadal to the Dubai News Punch. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Finally, support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.